southbound, southbound. Chopper, we're overhead, officers disengaged, we are recording. We'd like to continue following. We are not using the spotlight camera only right now. Southbound, James. Second's going to go 70 east. It's going to overtop 70 and entering 70 eastbound now on the ramp. He just blacked out too. I'm watching him. He's approaching a Y split. What is that east-west? Okay, Porsche. Porsche and Martin Court. Porsche and Martin Court coming to a dead end now. Porsche and Martin Court, it's in the dead end now. Uh, it's going west into the dead end, backing into a spot. All right, we got two out of the vehicle. Drivers out, passengers out now. They're walking back. They're running southbound now. One is still behind the port. Caution officers. I've got the one that's running. There's one still uh, standing behind the port. We're southbound. He's still southbound, cutting back east, and he's stopping, and he's now continuing east. Don't get me too high. Give me 14 to 1300 if you got it. 14 to 1300. Chopper, give me the air. Officer in pursuit right now. He's running eastbound. Light is on the target. Officer's light is on the target. Yes, that's affirmative. Two apps, sir. Two apps. Um, and officers, uh, when you are secure, I'll direct you to his path that he ran. I've got this recorded. I'd have to replay it to see what he pitched. Hello, everyone. It's Dr. Vasquez, your doctor in criminal justice, bringing you another video on criminal justice topics. So you just saw a video coming out of Columbus, Ohio, back in April of this year, 2022. There was a chase. There was an individual that was waving a gun. There was a helo team. There was an air support team. There was an ISR team that was in the area. They said, hey, we're going to help you out. They had some of the patrol vehicles disengaged, and they started to follow and pursue the individual. You can see the individuals go on a ramp. Uh, they go into a residential area. They try to go into a apartment po uh, complex area. They park the vehicle. They get to the dead end. They park the vehicle. Uh, they exit the vehicle. It's two individuals, driver and passenger. And then they try to hide kind of like a little parking storage area. And one of them starts running. Okay. And then that is when the helo also um, by this time has turned on their thermal imaging. And for those of you that don't know what thermal imaging, that basically means we're able to detect heat. So your bodies and stuff like that. Um, and they're able to track you um, in that manner. So thermal imaging is on individuals running. Uh, you can hear the helicopter say, go left, go right, go east, go west. You're 200 yards, you're 100 yards out. Uh, go down this street, calling out street names. Um, great communication by the helo pilot. Um, and then by through that information, that's how police are able to make contact. They're able to challenge, apprehend, and take the suspect into custody. So as always, ladies and gentlemen, I got three questions, three concerns, three things I want to discuss with you. But first, if you like videos like this, if you like criminal justice topics, if you like discussing criminal justice issues, if you just want to hear Dr. Vasquez speak, go ahead, like, subscribe, comment, share uh, on this video. And that way we get some awareness to this channel. All right. So what's the first question that I want to ask you? The first question I want to ask you is when it comes to air support units, do you believe they are underutilized? Okay, let me know what you think in the comments below. I'm going to say yes. I'm going to be honest with you. I feel as though in a perfect world, every time a patrol vehicle go, would go out, I'd have a helo team go out, right? Um, I know that's far-fetched. I know that's out of this world, but hear me out. I remember being in a combat environment in Iraq, and we'd have the choppers above us, right? Or uh, we'd have some drones that was uh, clearing some routes for us. So in theory, I'm just like, okay, I know the helos, they're valuable assets. I know we don't have as many of them, um, but I also believe in 2022, because the helos have been out for a while, we should have acquired more per police department than what we currently have, right? So take that for what you will. In a perfect world, yeah, if they respond to a domestic, if they're responding to an assault, they're responding to a homicide, they're responding to a burglary, whatever have you. You don't know what can happen when police arrive. 
why don't we get that helo in the air, provide some aerial coverage, if you will. Um, and it also just gives you a different dimension, right? It gives you a different perspective. And, you know, might be able to give you some information that those on the ground um, assets that you have are not able to identify. So let me know what you think in the comments below. All right, the second thing that I'm going to discuss, or I have a question for you, what do you feel is the future of air support? Um, for me, I believe that is the future. I believe that 10 years from now, 15 years from now, your drones that you see, um, the un unmanned aerial vehicles, whatever you want to call them, that is the future, I believe. And I was talking to my students about this yesterday. If I have to decide in between a hot pursuit and, and sending you out there, uh, your life, would I rather send you or that unmanned aircraft, right? Or that drone, if you will. Um, why would I put you in a harm's way if I don't have to put you in harm's way? So let me know what you think below. Let me know what you think uh, the future of air support units will be. I know it's something we don't talk about, but I do believe that is the future. So remember my name uh, 10 years from now. All right. And the last thing I want to discuss with you, and this is kind of like a sensitive uh, subject, air support units. Is that an invasion of privacy? Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'm going to say no. And the only reason why I'm going to say no, for me, it'd be no different than a police officer driving down the street uh, on the interstate, wherever have you, and they're able to identify something, right? Now, I understand when we're talking about air support, when we're talking about helos, when we're talking about this and that, there's so many thousands of feet up in the air. Um, and that's why some people feel it's invasion of privacy. Um, but I also believe that you yeah, what you believe to be privacy, right? Or what someone would reasonably believe to be privacy would be within the walls of your home, right? Uh, we all understand that if you have a front yard, backyard, whatever have you, um, you know, on the street, yes, you may not be able to see through that uh, fence, or but. You will also, once you get that aerial coverage, that, like I was talking about before, that gives you a different dimension. So let me know what you think in the comments below. I know that's very controversial. All right, everybody, that's your video for today. Thank you so much. Protect each other. Love each other. I'll see you on the next video. Have a good day, everyone.